Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to Pop House. We've got a fun video for you today. It's another one of my informative videos I like to do. Today it's called Real or Fake. We got a fake Super Saiyan God Goku. This thing, the little uh, detail, this is one of the best fakes I've ever come across. But it is fake and we're going to show you why. We're going to talk about all the different details. We're going to go over it with you. This is one of the ways to help you spot a fake. Now this one is a lot different than the other ones. It's really hard to spot it, but you'll see once you know, and we'll walk you through everything. So guys, let's cue the intro and get this bad boy started. Cue it! Welcome, Welcome, to, Pop Welcome, Welcome to Pop House! Pop House. Alright guys, we're going to show you a lot of different comparison videos I'm going to have up and in here. I'm going to take some pictures and put them here, put them in different spots. You just got to see it. It's really hard to tell because... With a lot of these Super Saiyan God Gokus, you know, there's different fakes you can find. Different things. Like T-Royce talks about how the M, it's a lot of them go all the way down. They're not halfway up. That's a nice way to tell. I've had other people tell me, look back here, the Dragon Balls aren't right. And then I've had other people talk about this and that. Well, this fake we have has all of these. They're all right. The reason they're all right is with this fake, they did something that's really kind of funny. They photocopied it. This is an exact copy of this. This one I've already had checked. I've verified it's correct. Had many of people check it for me, many experts. This one is real. This is the best fake I've ever seen. And that's why I wanted to make this video. This, what they did with this, they took a photocopy of that and made the box. Why they got caught is you can see the spacing over here is a right. You can see how the head rolls around here. There's a lot of reasons to make this stand out. So what I want to do is I want you to see a couple comparison video parts of this. And I'm going to show those to you right now because it is a photocopy. You'll see the difference of the real, how bright white it is and how the other one actually the white is dingy. It's from a copy machine. So let me show you a couple of those pictures right now. So yeah, guys, as you've seen the difference there, you can really tell the problem is if you don't have the two right there by each other, this fake can get you. It's the quality that they got you on that made the difference. They even went as far as the stamp in the foot is close. The numbers are off. As you look at the different markings at the bottom and how Funko does it, you've seen enough of Funko's numbers. Um, you really can't see it here, but I'll put a photo up of the numbers on the bottom of that with the numbers of the other one right here. You can see how they're off. They're not exactly right. You know, you really, really have to pay attention to Funko on this. It's not Funko's fault, but they're, they're really getting good at the fakes. But those numbers are really, really close. And they actually transpose where the one is. Let me double check here before I open my mouth. This one is 12. This one they actually did is 21 instead of 12. They transposed the last two numbers. They were close, but they weren't right. And then, you know, that could be a production run, different things like that. But you see just the difference of how they produce the numbers and how they're on there. They're not exactly the same, but they're close. Now, guys, I'm going to show you a couple pictures of the Pops themselves where we have them out so you can look at those. You see the difference there and how the real one is higher quality, higher gloss, and just really shiny. And the fake, you can just see the dinginess. They didn't put the quality into it. They didn't put that nice clear coat into it because that's the expense. You know, you keep all that off, you're saving money. You're not trying to make a quality product, you're trying to make a knockoff. They were really, really close. Just little details and like the symbol, it's close, it's really close. You gotta look, but it's there. And then the inserts, let's take a look at the inserts real quick. You see how those inserts, how the one for the real one is nice and shiny and clear plastic. This is the first fake I've seen that actually had some nice plastic to that, but it was just so cloudy. It wasn't so clear. You can actually see the difference when you look at them and 
how the real one is just right here. It's so clear and so see-through. You can see, kind of see it in here, but you've seen it in the picture. And how the other one is just dingy. It's a total difference in quality because when you're trying to put out a quality product, you do a better job. These two pops are really, really close. I've seen some really bad fakes, and I wish I would have got a worse fake, but I'm not going to buy a fake. And since this one was given to me to show you guys, I mean, if I, you didn't have a real one, I could pass this off. Funko has enough printing errors, and you can also see the difference in the numbers. Um, if you really look at the numbers on them, that's where they're kind of different. And I'll show you those right now. See how those 24s are really kind of close, but they're not close. They're really, really close. And you can see it, but without having the original there, you'd buy it. I believe it was real. But what set me off on this is just the quality. I thought maybe it was a box error until I started to notice just the downright dullness of it and knowing that this pop was shiny and seeing mine at home. So seeing those differences really helps, but if you don't have one, and you don't have one to compare it to, it's very easy to see where you could get tricked on this one. That's why these type of videos need to be made. So you can compare these and see the difference to know what you're looking for. And that's why I like to do these videos because we've all been scammed, we've all been took. So by the more information being out here, the more it helps you get a better pop and something better for quality. You know, I hope this all helps you guys out and I hope you use this information wisely and it just, the more information we put out here. This is why I started this as a normal collector. I'm not a Dr. Applesauce. I'm not a Skittle Rampage. I'm not one of these guys. You know, I've been collecting for a few years and it really had to learn how to find the differences. You know, I've had a lot of help with a lot of friends. T-Roy's helped me with a lot of stuff. Russell's helped me with a lot of stuff. I've had a lot of good friends really show me and help me find the difference of real or fake. So I'm passing this information along to you. You know, guys, if you do ever have a question, don't be afraid. Drop something. We always have the link here to the Facebook page. Drop it in there. Ask me. Um, I'll do my best. I don't always have enough time, but I will get to it as fast as I can to see what I can find for you. There are some pops out there that are just too cheap to fake, you know. But I've been shocked because the ones that I think are too cheap to fake, there's fakes. I got taken on a $20 Wolverine that I bought from Amazon but it was a third party seller on Amazon. So then when I checked into it, I found out it was fake. That is my time I got taken and it was when I realized what all happened. So guys, it's my job and not really my job, but my, my privilege to help you find better pops and better quality. So guys, let's take one more look at all these little compilation of pictures we have. All right, guys, I sure hope that helped out. And thanks for watching. Thanks for being part of this community. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. You never know what you're going to find. We have a lot of different stuff. We have these informative videos, but we also have some fun ones. My kids have beat me with eggs. I've been smashed with pies. <clears throat> it's a lot of fun. So go ahead and subscribe. After you subscribe, there'll be a little bell there. It's called the notification bell right there where you subscribe. I'll let you know we put a video out almost every single day. Guys, smash that like button. Hopefully I've earned it putting all this information out here for you guys and making a good video. Guys, have a blessed, beautiful day. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Let me know if any of this was helpful to you. And all I got to say is...
having technical difficulties.